fashionista themes. I'm building a very special house. It's a floating house. I had to go ahead and do that part down there because I didn't know how it was going to come out. So I went ahead and made that base and then started with, with the upper part of like the roof and all that. Because I wanted to make sure it was actually going to come out like I'm supposed to. And it actually did, so I'm very happy with it. I, I actually adore what I did with this. I, I do. I think it turned out very nicely. I'm trying to find some matching rails for the stairs. It's just something else I'm going to tell you. You forgot stairs and then the inside. Yes, I did, and I'll fix it if it ever comes uploaded. But I hope my blooper didn't pop up in the beginning. What blooper? I don't know. I was talking and all of a sudden he started. It don't matter. If it does, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Whoops. Yes, I did. I got so involved with doing other things and what I had on my mind. My mind was completely just in in doing this. And I forgot to add stairs to go to the upper floor. But it's not a problem. I can do it. I'm sure people have forgotten things many times when they built. You remember that one video I did? Yeah. <clears throat> where, where I asked what people forgot and, and everybody was telling me it was uh, like the same thing. Trash cans, mailboxes, sinks. I forgot stairs. Oh well. I forgot the stairs one time. Well, I hopefully won't do it again, but you never know. I mean, I'm never going to be perfect, so I'm going to mess up. So it's just part of it. It doesn't bother me. I was just sitting here yesterday and it dawned, I already had finished it and, and everything and I dawned on I me, mean, oh, I forgot to put stairs up, up there so you could go up to the upper floor. Like, I was like, whoops! I did but that one it's, time. But it's just the way it is. I found some very nice, I think, walls and floors to go with it. I didn't have to go back and put a couple of rugs in here and there when I'd already finished the bedroom. So I was like, I didn't put a rug in that bedroom, I gotta go back and do it. That one bedroom you do, I really love. Which one? Um. There's six of them, so. The one on the second floor, or whatever you want to call with the, it. With the sparkles on the walls. That's the first floor. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I made the bathrooms match as far as the walls and floors. Wait, what sparkle? Hmm. Wait, what sparkle? Hmm. And this one, that's the first one. Is no. it that one? No, the one on the... Uh, the oh, the second floor? Yeah. You said you really like that one, too, with the purples, pinks, and blues and stuff, I think, is what was in there. Oh, we'll see it in just a sec. I'm putting in the floors and walls in all the rooms now. I think I, I, think I finished the upstairs before I did the second floor, or the first floor. If I'm not mistaken. But it was over three and a half hours. Oh, oh, that one, yeah, I do love that room. I think it's gorgeous. I had issues finding the pinks to match, but it, it turned out very nicely, I say. And the rug, I think, matched it really good. Had the same kind of color combinations kind of in it. You know what I don't get? Is that a lot, have you noticed that a lot of the kids' items and stuff don't match? I know. I didn't do a toddler room in, in this one. I just did kids and like a teenagers and adult rooms. Of course, you can always fix it to a toddler room if you wanted to do that. I have so many houses that haven't even uploaded. I need to do it. I just don't know where the time goes. I stay so busy doing everything. Yeah, I had... There was BB Move Objects on. I had to take it off because it was missing with stuff. <laughs> I was, uh, we were we were both talking about the floating house and stuff, and I was doing a test run on the floating house. Oh. Remember? And then it didn't turn out the way I wanted it, so I scrapped it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you can do it. It's not hard. I mean, it's... It's kind of difficult, in a way. Well, actually, I should have done some things first before I did the floating part of it, but it's okay. I think I still think it turned out lovely. I have an idea for you, but I'm not sure if I should mention it. I wouldn't. <laughs> not just not right now. No, just now what could happen. I have several very unique ideas that I want to use. 
I had that rug picked out in the bathroom, and then when I got to looking at it later, I was like, damn, I got it, but go in the bedroom perfectly. Oh, well, that'd be cool. <laughs> now I, get, I have three ideas. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever done the one I'm thinking about, but it doesn't matter if they have. I still want to do it. It'll be your own version anyway. True. I think it's very unique. I gotta meet the unique people to go with it. I say. That's not to make a house for your people, too. Yeah. See, the rug looks better in that room. But look at the the colors are just like so. That would have, that room right there would be perfect for like a spring related one, but spring's already over. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever colors you want in your house. No, I mean if you want to do like a spring theme build next year. Oh yeah, I could. I definitely am gonna do fall and of course Halloween and I'm gonna do holiday like Christmas with the snow and stuff on Wait, the ground. Wait, why, did, why didn't we think about this before? You could have made a season theme house, season theme houses. I can. It's not a big deal. <laughs> well, I guess you can do it starting fall. That's true. I can have a fall, winter, and spring and summer houses. Wait, didn't you already kind of have a summer one? I think I did. Yeah, but you didn't have the rest of the season yet. Never mind. I guess you're not unprepared. <laughs> no, I would just wait till the season comes to make it. <laughs> I was going to do that anyway. But it's fine. I had to use a white bed in that room. It just, there was no pinks that looked right with it. Even though the pinks are off, I tried to find as many pink things as I could because whatever child wants to be in that room that loves pink, it doesn't matter. Male or female, it doesn't matter to me. Anybody could love pink. Mm -hmm. I'm in a pink room. Anybody could love any color. Well, I thought that, you know, I, I used as many pinks as I could, but the bed pink, I wanted, it didn't really look good with any other pink stuff, so I'll just use white furniture as far as that goes. I love this room right here. That's like a musical room. It's just like a family room. You can, you can play your guitars, you can play your piano, you can play chess, you can paint, and there is even a place just for someone to sit and just enjoy. I believe I also put a fireplace in it. Really? Yeah. Just for like a little homey area. There's also books if you want to sit down and read. There's a little fish tank in there if you want to I do whatever. I have to fish. i put a couple of chairs in there and a table. So they could kind of sit in there and read if they wanted to. There's a fireplace and nice little things like that. There's a little candles. I got a little bit of... A little bit of uh, color because there's really mostly black and whites and grays in there. I, I think those statues were cool looking so I put them in there. I love the rug. Yeah, I do too. I think it looks nice in there. I got as your blacks and grays mingled in there and some little plants I kind of made a little bit bigger because I cut for kind of small. I love that room. I think it's very nice. I didn't want to overdo with some of the, po the pictures and stuff on the walls. Some of the rooms, I love the wall colors so much, I didn't really want to do a whole lot of stuff like that on it. I didn't want to mess it up. You added windows, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did it at the, at the end. That's why another reason why I didn't want to put too many in there, because I... You gotta have room for windows, too. I mess up when I put my windows on first. Because I can't put my furniture where I want. Usually my windows are fine, but... There was one time I made a mistake and I ended up deleting a window. Yeah, it happens. I know in any build your windows should go on, of course, before anything goes inside, but I found it myself easier to do it this way. I think some people do put windows on last. I think it's, I think it, I like that bedroom too. I think it's very nice with the golds and whites. And kind of, you know, some cedar-like browns. Like the light cream color browns. Oh, that looks very cool. And I love this bedroom right here. I think it's gorgeous. I love it too. I think it's the best bedroom. Besides, I think so too. Besides the um, the last bedroom. I think that room. rug just matches it perfectly in there. I really wanted to make it bigger and cover it more of the room, but it wouldn't fit, so I just did that. And 
Didn't you explain the reason why you don't use BB.move objects? I don't... I can see where you would have to use if you are building a tiny home. Otherwise, you can't fit stuff in there. Yeah. But otherwise, it messes with your... your it messes with my builds. Things go through the walls and... And then if you do use them, and then we found this when we've used houses before, your sim, even though the, you've got the BB move objects, your sim tries to do something, they can't get there. Because there's an object that's placed there in the build because they can't fit it in there right through they, like they want to, but the stems still can't get around. Stems? Sims. Oh, they said stems. Who? Oh, they said stems. Are there stems now? <laughs> I have no idea. They may be stems. But anyway, they can't. You remember that? We had to move, we had to delete stuff before. You remember that one restaurant I downloaded in the gallery? Yeah, it had no stairs. No, a different one. Door? No. Uh, waiter station? Mm, several times, but no, that's not what I was about to say. <laughs> Where I had a, uh, one of my sim families go to a restaurant, the waiter was glitched. Oh. You want to know what happened? What? Apparently, um, I don't know how that happened, but uh, there was a giant car giant toy car in there, and all of a sudden, I did not do this either, I did not set it as his head. He went to take their order, and all of a sudden the car was stuck on his head, giant car stuck on his head, and he was walking. Oh my god, that'd been hilarious, I'd <laughs> love to see that. It wasn't on a video, but... I, I, still. I had to remove it off of him. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I think it was, I think it was Vlad. No, Vlad has a car on his head, that's funny <laughs> as hell. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding rugs that really match some. I like the dinosaur, but it, um, it, it seemed like the color was off some. I'm trying to find something that matches the bed and kind of match the walls. I like that last rug <clears throat> you had, too. Well, I, I think the cream and that blue look good in there. Either I like one. this little sparkle room, too. It has a little d sparkle things all over oh, it. Oh, I like that one, too. And I had issue finding pinks that matched that too, but that, I think that's pretty dang close. The table and like the the cover and the pillows. Yeah. But then when you got to the dressers and stuff, it's a little different shaded, but it's it's fine. I really would love to have something you could put all those shades. The color wheel would be so nice. You could have all everything would match perfectly if you wanted to. I was telling them. My kids, most people that build a house or move into a house, they're going to have matching items. They're going to have a bedroom suit that matches, a living room suit that match. They're going to have their decor matching, their carpet, their curtains, whatever. And then you get to the people, people that are, you know, poor, like like us sometimes. We we struggle here and there, but we, we don't have matching things. We just have whatever we can afford. <laughs> Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, if I had if I had that kind of money to get all kinds of stuff like that, my house would be very nice as far as matching items and all. But at least I can do it on here. We love what we have anyway, so and that's all that matters. That's what I'm saying. If you're happy, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how much you have as far as money goes or whatever. It's how you use it. As long as we have food and we have things we need, then we're not we're fine. <laughs> We don't have to have extravagant things. No. I've never, never been extravagant in my life. I never bought myself a, any kind of diamond ring or anything like that. All I had was sterling silver jewelry or white gold if I could afford that at the time. And it wasn't that, nothing that was ever really expensive. I'm just not an extravagant person. I'm just not. I, even if I had money rolling out my bottle, I still would be extravagant. I still would have just some basic things that I need, but I would I would have matching furniture and stuff, and I would have my own home that we owned. So that would be something I would always wanted. What kind of home have you always wanted to live in? I always loved the log cabin or like an old farmhouse that had like the wraparound porch. Ooh. 
That's what I've always wanted. Either one of those would be fine. I love cottages. <laughs> There's some nice cottages out there too. I've always loved those too. And I love tiny houses, but let's let's think about it. A tiny house would not be the best idea for all three of us. <laughs> That's probably true. I do like how the living room turned out. I like the, the furniture I put oh, in there. I'm sorry for Daisy. She's a little baby dot though. It doesn't she doesn't take up much space. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes she kicks. <laughs> Yeah, I decided to do that instead. Just make it bigger, make it cover up most of the room. I absolutely love that. I think it came from Get Famous, that rug. It's like in those mansion homes. I love the patterns and everything on it. I believe it is. But I, I, I love the door. I wish I could have found some windows that kind of match. I didn't really see any that matched that door. I know it's, I think it's for like a restaurant or something, but I don't care. I wanted to use it. I think it's cool looking. I think it's a club door is what it is. I use a lonely potted plant. Yeah, I, I feel bad for the lonely little plants. I have to use them sometimes. They're not so lonely. No, they have little friends in there. But like I said, if I decide to upload this house, I will put stairs in it. <laughs> I just have to find out where to put them. I don't know. I just got involved. My mind was going in all different kinds of directions of what I wanted to do, especially on the grounds below. And then I just completely forgot to go back and do it. I knew I had to, and I just forgot to. But I'm sure that it's happened to other people, and it's not a big deal. Like I said, I can put a, a set of stairs in there. Anywhere. Did you put a trash can? I did. It's in the kitchen. Okay, I guess I didn't pay attention then. It's one of the eatable ones. I like using that one anyway. I won't though if it doesn't match with the color contrast, but it does have some blues kind of in white, so I just went ahead and used it. Any time I built a house for you or whatever, I would get the eatable trash can. Another thing I need to work on is making my walls taller. I forget to do that. I just go ahead and sit with the walls I have. I know you can make them medium or high, and I, I keep forgetting to do it. And I also need to use curtains sometimes. But I do love the sunshine. I could get some parted curtains, though, I guess, and use them. Yeah. But I like the open windows. I like all the sun I can get my hands on. I just love a bright room. They have the big ass swimming pool down there on the grounds. Their their house is floating, so why not? You have a whole area you can do whatever you want to with. My whole lot you can just do whatever you want with. I, that's what I say. <clears throat> and I even put some little paths around the pool, like on the really long ends down there, which I'd never done before. Kind of make it like a little bit of a concrete slab on the sides. That's one way to make it even. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it looked nice on there. I had to go back and do a little bit more on this other end, though. You see, it looks a little bit green. I went, boop, I gotta go back again. And I, I've i never used the rocks and stuff, and I wanted to do something kind of cool with it. So I'm using some rocks, making them bigger, making them like in little places here and there, kind of like a little formation. Because there are rocks all around this property. This is Oasis Springs. Mm hmm. So I want to make a little, at least one little rock. I'm going to work on this too and do some other cool stuff. And I, I wanted to do the rose boundary, like the fencing around it. I thought it would look cool as hell. And you could do it, you know, well, most of the way around the lot. I had to fix it a little bit in the front because I had to put a mailbox. But I put like a half part to kind of do that. But I got the rocks down there, and I was like, what else can I do with that? So I loved looking at plants, and I thought, these are looking, these really look cool, so I'm going to use some of these. There's like a little corner part over there that has like a little bit of plants. I put a tree, and I was like, nah. I'm going to put a couple of those and a couple of those. It kind of gives a little bit of character, I think. And I want some plants around the pool. And I, I hope I made them straight. I really tried. But, you know, it's kind of hard to tell when you're doing that. 
And then I, I've never used any kind of little, little lights around her either. So I decided to use some lights around their little pathway and a few around the pool. And so you can kind of see it when it's, you know, at night. <clears throat> I didn't look around because it looked straight to me. We're going to get close to the end of the video. I thank you so much, everyone. I have so much projects coming up. But I really do appreciate everything. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody! Hell yeah!